Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Griffo. This is Griffo Media. And uh, today we're going to do more Drive Club VR because it's my favourite game on the PS4. And uh, we're just going to race a concept car over there. We're going to do singular races, which is quite nice. We're going to race in Canada. Uh, let's race in the port of Vancouver, but obviously you've got quite a few to select from in this game. Um, I quite like that. So let's do this. Uh, clear weather. This game's amazing, guys. If you've got a PS4 and maybe you've not invested in VR, you can get a really good deal on the headset now. And the Logitech G29 is not the most expensive wheel out there. Um, so anyway, you can race through different cars. Now, after we've raced in this concept car, which is the Peugeot, it's an electric car, four-wheel drive, and it's really quick. I will show you the other cars that we, you can drive in this game. So much choice. And it's such a great game. The only downside is, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but the servers have been taken offline for Drive Club. So not only can you not get the DLC anymore, you can't race online and stuff like that. So that's, it's a bit sad. Um, we're hoping that maybe one day we'll get a Drive Club 2. Not so sure about that. But anyway, look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the Port of Vancouver. And... Uh, Snowy Mountains, that's about right, isn't it? Another view of the car from another direction. Awesome, awesome. So the view, obviously, I'm getting in the headset, as you'll know, is 360. So if I look around, I'm not even in the car yet. That's what we're getting. But I'll hop in the car anyway. And this is like a Batmobile, isn't it? It's really cool. And uh, with it being electric, you just get the purry noise. You won't get the loud engine. And I'm seeing a lot of cool cars out there that I'm going to race against. I can see some Ferraris, some Beamers in the mix here. But this is like the Batmobile, isn't it? Really cool. Anyway, let's race. And then we'll uh, go through a few different tracks, a few different venues. And uh, see how we get on here. But you can see a problem communicating with the Drive Club server. It's just not happening, is it? So uh, I'll try my best to knock that off in a minute. Anyway, yeah. Uh, right at the back of the pack here there we go I've knocked it off yeah dry club servers no longer on sadly so uh, I think I mentioned this in my last VR video that if you buy the game now on disc format physical media can you get the extra courses or are they actually loaded are they actually loaded onto the disc I don't even know that because uh, when I bought a drive club VR it was kind of a a first purchase for me was the reason I bought VR to be fair because I just love racing games and um, they did this mammoth update just before the um, the company that made the game broke up and it was lovely because it was just free DLC and they were like look here's a load of courses that aren't in the original game and a load of cars and you just downloaded it and that was that so I'm just wondering did they add that to the disc? Because uh, the price of this game's kind of gone through the roof since the servers have gone down. I think now you're paying about 30 quid. Last check on Amazon for this game, which it's still worth that. Ah, oh, my goodness. Trust the Beamer to take me out. <laughs> the good thing about um, Drive Club is that the crashes do feel cool. Especially if you're in a car like this with no roof. I mean, my view at the minute is proper good. But um, yeah, so if somebody could reply to me with that, I mean, it's just, you know, I, w I would still pay 30 quid without the additional DLC, absolutely, because I think it's worth it. However, the DLC absolutely made this game. So uh, if you know the answer to that, please uh, drop me a little comment, because uh, I know how good you are in commenting on the videos. Um, but anyway. Let's continue here. So, uh, oh my goodness. Four wheel drive, are you giraffing me? The rear end of this ain't half sticking out, but let's see if we can go around this car here. Whoa, took my off the road there. Just have a look at his snazzy car. 
But this Percho is great. There's hardly any noise on it. I think I drove this in my last VR video. I think I was uh, driving in India. And uh, it, it's super quick, no engine noise. Um, and I know it's a concept, but I can imagine this coming out in the future. Anyway, that was a quick race in uh, the port of Vancouver. And here the other guys come. I wasn't that fast, surely. I had a, a proper crash in that race. Uh, but anyway, I did beat the rest of the pack, uh, which in that car is, is not difficult to be fair. So let's continue here and choose another location in another car. I'll give you a quick look through the, uh, the other cars. Let's just do them in order, shall we? We'll pick one from Chile now. Um, driving through the mountains is quite nice and chilly, but I'm just gonna see what else there is. Quite like racing through built up areas. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I do like most racing games with city courses. It's kind of nice to do. Sorry if I'm flicking through these a little bit too quick. Uh, it's not my intention, it's just that I just like to, to hop in and do another race. I think we're going to race in the mountains here and let's get some snow scenes on the go. Uh, we'll change the car though, uh, but we will race in the clear weather because I quite like seeing the scenery when we're racing through uh, some mountains and stuff. So yeah, let's just get back the cars here and just see what the entry level cars are. The hot hatches as they're called in this game. You've got a mini. Uh, which is pretty cool. You've got the Beetle. I've uh, done a few races in the Beetle. It's not quick, but it's really solid on the ground. Uh, you've got the Quattro Audi there, four-wheel drive. You've got the, the Renault. And there's a few cars in the game, sadly, that, that I've never, ever been able to, to access. That being uh, one of these. I've driven one of these years and years ago. Um, a Golf GTI, fast as. Uh, one of the hottest hatches you can buy and then you've got the beamers and then you basically like any racing game you start with the entry level cards and you move your way through i want to race with something a little bit different i guess as we're racing the mountains uh bmw there you see the m4 nice car not sure about the mustardy yellow kind of look to it but snapper rocks blue i reckon would be nice on that car um that's quite a nice one isn't it and i think we should go open top again for the purposes of this video it's one of the entry level kind of and i've never driven this car so it might be all over the place and i might come off the road a bit and it will be a race so we are going against uh, a set number of cars but we're just gonna have some fun and it'll be nice to see a bit of a view and then we will race some ferraris etc so there you can see yeah this is going to be great there's the car there and uh yeah cool so uh, let's hop into the car Whoa. It's a bit close for me, is that? So we'll level that down a little bit and just kind of move that off. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a look at the car. Bit of a classic. Nice. 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 Right, let's race. See how we get on. I have a feeling this car might be all over the place. And we're racing against, of course, some pretty good supercars there. So. Uh, Let's race. You might see a message that comes up on screen during uh, this race. And the, uh, the message will be about um, another game I'm downloading for my next video. So uh, it's just downloading from the SN store. You know what it's like with modern day consoles? It's like, if you don't play on them for a while, you have to A, download the latest uh, firmware, which takes a little while. And then uh, every game needs an update, so. At least with this, it will never need another update again. This car's very, very slow. It's almost like I'm being outmatched with the class of cars or something, but... Uh... Gotta try and get myself forward here. That's a good thing about this. It's, it is very arcadey, isn't it, Drive Club? And you can kind of steal a march on other cars by just kind of nudging. <laughs> But then if they nudge you, you're all over the place, so... Uh... Hey guys, I've just had a load of new subscribers by the way, so I must thank you for checking out my channel. It's not just racing games on this channel, it's, it's mainly that. Uh, but also uh, there's other bits and pieces on there, so uh, if you ever get time, just have a look and see what I've got to offer. There's hundreds of videos now on my channel and 
obviously during lockdown and COVID, this is April 2020 while I'm filming this one, um, you know, I've been able to record a little bit more than I usually would because there's been more time available. And I guess that's the same with a lot of YouTubers. So um, yeah, thanks for taking time and viewing my videos, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, in my usual life, I'm a radio presenter and I've also been doing my radio show daily in the UK from home, from this studio actually. Uh, there is a video, so go check that out. And yeah, so there's a variety of things on my channel, but mainly it's tech and mainly it's it's arcade racing and stuff. So uh, yeah, there you go. Nice scenes, eh? a bit foolish to go on the outside of the beamer but who was going to shut me off the cliff then which wouldn't have been good wouldn't have been good at all nice little car this in fairness there's nothing better than doing vr in a in a topless car you know razzing round at a hundred and odd mile an hour it's just so so much good fun and of course, you know, with COVID going on at the minute, and I'm sure people will be watching this long after that, during the time of COVID, there's not a lot of driving to be done, and I miss going out of my car. I really do. You know, most of my driving is a commute in from work, and sometimes my commute can be uh, hellish. Traffic and all of that. M62 West Yorkshire, those who are, uh, I've ever driven the N62 will, will be able to vouch for me on that and I do that journey six days a week. Um, so there we go, that was quite a nice drive in fairness, so uh, we're going to we're gonna move places, we're going to move on from Chile, um, nice little car that, we're going to go to India. Um, India for me on this game probably has the best set of tracks, uh, in particular I like racing through the cities. As I've already mentioned, uh, obviously there's night courses, etc., etc. So, but I've already done the town courses uh, through India, so I'm going to race that one there, and I'm going to I'm going to jump in. I'm going to proper jump in now to um, a faster car, uh, maybe a supercar. Um, that's nice, isn't it? The M5 in ester or blue. Um, I'd never ever buy a BMW uh, other than that colour, Estrel Blue, I mean it's been kicking around for years and they had an issue didn't they with the paint if you remember there was like kind of lead in the original design of Estrel Blue and they had to go uh, back to, to redesigning it. I'm quite tempted to try that, shall we? Yeah. Custom colour? No, custom prints factory color let's do let's do it in bright lime green um, hopefully this will drive just like a 911 as it's supposed to and race this circuit actually looking at this circuit I wish I would have done the city one now to be fair but because uh, I think I've done this one before on the channel I could hop out but I'm not going to I'm just gonna take that dash down just a little bit and take that out but you can see the interior here. Obviously I'm from the UK so usually we'd be driving here because um, we're right hand driving but um, it's got some little seats in the back. What would you what would you take with you? Some dat chams or something? Anyway, let's race. Got quite a loose rear end on it. <laughs> So I won't be taking that beamer on the first bend, that's for sure. Oh, right. Let's jump back into the pack here. Right, okay. Just getting a feel for the car. I don't think I've ever driven this on a drive club before. I may have done it in the 2D version, that's for sure, but... Uh... Oh. Right, time to get a bit aggressive. 
the BMW needs passing, so we'll do that. Bye. Boom, see you later. Oh, oh, oh. Rear end going out. Correct that one. Is that a Merc? And if there's any games you'd like me to, to demo on the channel, guys, just go ahead and, and do a comment. Obviously, uh, in previous recent videos, I've been telling you about the, uh, the motion simulator that's on order. That's kind of been, it's not been cancelled, but the, the manufacturers of it have kind of put the order off for now. I'm not sure whether they're getting trouble getting parts to make it or whatever. Um, so that's not going to happen for a little while. And the steering wheel that um, was going to be coupled with that, um, there's an issue with supporting it by the... Uh, by the motion simulation rig, so it's kind of a work in progress, but to be honest with you, I'm in no rush for it anyway, so it's something that'll happen at some point, uh, maybe in the summer. Whoa. A bit too wide there. But yeah, if you've got any games you'd like to see on the channel, I suppose when the motion simulator drops, then there'll be a lot of interest in uh, what games I should be playing then and uh, I've, I have it on good authority that the uh, the manufacturer of the rig is going to uh, help me out in supporting some of the classics like Sega Rally not the RK95 version but um, you know the later kind of Sega Rally 3 etc so that'll be nice of course, the, uh, the the Model Three Sega Rally machine in the arcade was it was a motion version of that, wasn't it? No, uh, 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 you don't. <laughs> Proper loose rear end on this. Glad we're circuit driving. <laughs> See him, him in my rear view mirror trying to steal my thunder. Dish. Bit boring that course actually, but we're definitely going to do a few more on the video today. You. Um, I might stay in India actually because I do like one of the tracks that I may have done in a previous actually we're gonna do this one because this is really good I'm gonna change that car out and uh, do you know what quite fancy hopping in a supercar um, but which one that is the question there's so many great ones on here don't think I've ever raced that Ferrari on here, but you know what? I'm going to race. Have I already done it? Yeah, I've already done it. Let's have a look. That's nice, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that looks good. I'm going to do an F40. I'm going to race in an F40. I've never done this on Drive Club before. An F40, um, it's the classic Outrun 2 car, isn't it? Um, Run to one of the greatest arcade races there is. So uh, yeah, let's have a race. Let's see how we get on. There it is in all its glory. Um, I always have a look on eBay and Auto Trader for these cars one day and may own one. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. The gear shifter just don't have the thinnest thing. Probably got a cassette deck. These were the days before even CD. It's nice, isn't it? So I'm going to drop it slightly and push it out. And we're ready to race, guys, aren't we? Let's just adjust my headset because this is going to be fun. Hear that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Oh, the feel of power. Very good. Very good. But I'm racing some proper supercars here, guys. So, uh... I guess the key is to stay with the pack oversteer there. <laughs> Fighting with the car! <laughs> did I, I did say it was the first time, didn't I? There's no uh, ABS here, guys, there's no hydronics. No power steering. <laughs> well, at least I'm not last, I guess. 
It's a thing of beauty, this car, and I just don't want to smash into anything. It speaks too soon. Grithomedia.com, by the way, is my website, so uh, maybe you know, you're a company that specialise in racing wheels and, and all that attire, um, feel free to contact me uh, if you want to get some product placement in my videos. I've got quite a few subscribers now, as you can see, and um, most of it is racing content, so if you want to demo some stuff on the channel, um, and I'll do a voiceover during the video, that is cool. Just, uh, <laughs> Good advert, this isn't it? Uh, Griffomedia.com, that is the website. As I think to myself, why did I choose to drive an F40? Well, the steering wheel looks cool, that's why. <laughs> so does the rest of the car. Doesn't feel this light on the rear end in outrun, too, that's for sure. When I take my foot off the accelerator and just drift around every corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you know what though? The attention to detail here, I'm even seeing, you know, like panes of glass, they're stamped with like the kind of the manufacturer details and stuff. I'm getting that on the little uh, windscreen there. Right, we've got to step our game up here. I'm getting familiar now with how light this car is. take our chances here and jump the pack, which I just did there. Ah! Ooh. Right, where are we? Well, you can take that off the dash if you want, that's cool. Get a proper view of the car. Don't need that there. I'd like to know what position I am though. Oh, too fast. I'm trying to look at the screen and then I'm absolutely nailing it around the bend. I'm fourth out of eight. So it's good to have the screen there. It just flicks each time I start a race from what it was before. <laughs> you notice I've got a little bit crazy. Ah! Well, that was good, wasn't it? Eighth to. Oh. Crikey Moses, look at that, it's ridiculous. Ah. I'm surprised I got this far in it, look at it. Is this race not over yet? Never getting the F40 again. <laughs> it round now, see if I can catch the rest of the pack. Yes, I'm a little bit annoyed. Last day in a Ferrari F40. Boom. That was not good. I'm looking for cars coming past, but that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, they give me some could see I probably maybe have raced that once before but I will be racing that one again. Let's continue though. Uh, let's race. Uh, let's hop out of India and go to Japan and that's a nice track. Uh, bye bye Ferrari. I do like the love Ferrari but I think uh, we're gonna race something different here. Quite fancy that actually. Uh, this will be a new first on me as well. Nakasendo, great course this. Got the bridge in and all of that. And we've got the tunnels as you can see. There's the car. Let's get another view from another direction. Let's hop in actually. <laughs> Hopped in. 
And obviously I'm in the passenger seat right now. Can you see? Ridiculous. Let's hop it properly and get in the driver's seat. I'm gonna just gonna lower it slightly, take that out. Look at the detail here. This is a first for me as well. It's quite a cool car, isn't it? Very futuristic. Right, let's race, shall we? Him. See him try and shunt me. Ah. Bad lad, bad lad. Absolutely nailing it now. Goodness me, slow, slow, slow. He's in the same car, I think, isn't he? Bye. Beating us. Right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Goodness me. I did get carried away. slow down to a complete halt otherwise you spin out ridiculous anyway at least we're not in the last place this time trying to pass behind you are not passing no chance a bit quiet because I'm concentrating. good not being last that's for sure uh, right taking that car to a level up you can see I've never really driven that one before uh, paint job whatever right let's continue uh, Norway Norway in the mountains again 
Well, there is that city trap that they've got as well. Let's do a night one, shall we? Actually, that's really good in the snow, isn't it? No, but let's do a night one, because we've not done a night track yet. And uh, what car shall we drive? Just so many great cars in there. I want them all to kind of appear, you know, so you can have a proper look. Oh, that's a shame that I don't have access to some of these cars here. We're going to drive the LaFerrari, guys, because it's my favourite car on the game. And you watch me have a howler in the LaFerrari as we drive in Norway. looks pretty cool looks a little bit like the Scottish track in fairness the Highlands but uh, look at that amazing isn't it amazing amazing so here we go the LaFerrari what a gorgeous gorgeous car this is only ever in red guys only ever in red That little Ferrari horse there. Oh my goodness. Nice, nice, nice. Hear the engine roar. Let's go, guys. Let's have it. Junction in Birmingham, this. you move if you don't on this very tight course then you're never gonna jump the pack so that's why I did what I did there and I'll be aggressive here too third am I Ooh, proper slammed them on then didn't he well my gain I guess the last bend in it always the last bend oh well no worries all right we'll do another couple and then we'll draw the video to a close uh, always appreciate the comments below guys uh, we're going to hop into scotland and i do like the town track on this one the old town 
Um, we're not going to go the Ferrari, but we're going to choose something a bit more at the scale, which will get more difficult to drive, no doubt. Uh, but let's not do another Ferrari because we've done quite a few of them. We've done a Peugeot already. Uh, what's the top of the car on this game? Shall we do Scotland in a beach buggy? Shall we? Why not? Let's do Scotland in a beach buggy. Why not? This will be the last race, guys, actually, on the video. Comments below. Thanks for checking out the channel. New subscribers, hello. If there's any games you want to see featured, just pop them in. There you go. We're all in beach buggies. What a way to finish, eh? All this supercar nonsense. Who needs a supercar anyway? So I'm uh, going to take that down slightly out. Look at this. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's race. Last one. Drive Club VR PS4. PSVR. Oh my goodness. Like the dodgems. Whoa. Whoa. Rear end all over the joint. Woo -hoo -hoo. Just about got it back there. Hello. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. Dill boy, Molly. Let's catch these two. Give me this lime green one well out in front here. Come on. fairness he gave more than he got that's for sure see if we can work our way through this pack on the last lap which I don't think is gonna happen but I'm just gonna be really oh, somebody just got me there oh goodness me it's like Fast and the Furious at least I avoided it right this is the key part now, which will determine where I come in this race. As we, uh... <laughs> run. Right, this is where we get a bit reckless. How reckless we get. Oh my goodness, what a drift. Get out of my way, and you. And you. Don't forget to break. Don't forget to break. Oh my goodness, not again, not again, no! Oh. Same bend. You think I would have learned. I didn't learn. At least I'm not last. Drive Club. PSVR. I'm going for a beer and a lie down. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Stay safe during COVID-19 and thanks for checking out the channel. Adios.